All right, mathematicians, I am going to be giving you a short tutorial on how we're going to move to distance learning. Since I won't be able to give you notes and things like that uh, in the classroom, here are some of the possible ways that you can do this. We're going to start by going into Schoology because you're going to check Schoology every day to see kind of what the task is for the week and things like that, and then you can kind of go from there. Um, you're going to find our class, so I'm going to go into our Math 6 class. And then you're going to go into the particular assignment that you're working on. So I'm just going to use an example uh, that one I had set up for us to do before school was out. So we're going to go into this ordered pair practice. And then here you can go ahead just like normal and you can kind of read through um, the different things that would go along with that assignment. So in this particular one, because originally I had planned it for class, we're going to grab headphones. That would still not be a bad idea. Uh, we're going to watch the video and take notes as we go and then complete the practice that goes along with it. Uh, for this particular item, we're going to go up here and you can see we have our three attachments. We have our notes sheet, um, our practice, and then the actual notes. I'm going to go ahead and open up my notes first. These are the notes you would have gotten in class. If there aren't notes attached, you can either open up Notability and take notes on your own, or you can also use a notebook piece of paper. If you have access to a printer at home, you maybe want to print your notes and take it on paper, but you're going to have to do what's going to work best for you. If you don't have access to a printer, this is how I would suggest working through your notes. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to send it to Notability. And then I'm going to go ahead and open Notability. I'm going to create a new note. And then I'm going to make sure I put it into my math class. Um, you might want to create a new folder for just math notes. And then I'm going to open that so it's ready to go. So here you'll see this is the notes that we're going to be going through with the video. There's a couple pages. Then I'm going to close out of that and I'm going to go back into Schoology into the assignment. So I'm going to back up and now I'm going to pull up the video. All right, go ahead. What we're doing. All right. As many of you know, we have the capability of doing split screens on our iPad. So I'm going to take that Notability. I'm going to drag it up. And that way now I have access to my notes and my different colors as well as my video. So now I can sit here and I can zoom in on the video as I'm going. Um, and then the nice thing we've talked about with videos is that you can back things up and things like that as you're going. And then you'll be able to watch the video and as Coloring it's going it along at a later time. So today we're about the coordinate plane and just a very introductory what it is and things like that. The coordinate plane is a plane that is made up of two intersecting number lines. One of those number lines is horizontal and the other is vertical. When we're looking at those number lines, our horizontal one, or the one that goes along with the horizon, is our x-axis. And then our other one is our vertical, which is our... So you can see I, go, I pause the video so I could catch up on the notes. And then I can go back, and if I miss something, I can actually rewind it some. And our other one is our vertical, which is our y-axis. Um, one thing to note as you're going through this is that... Hi, 7th graders. Today we're going to be... All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of how we can take notes. When you're done, this will be stored in Notability for you. Um, and then you could go ahead and do your normal assignment like you would. But this is just a way that you'll be able to take notes as you are learning at home, so that way you can access them 
later on. Like I said, the other options, you can still always do your notes in the paper, but if you don't have access to a notebook or a printer, this would be another way.